Hello and welcome to another video from Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Today is not a repair video, but today is a maintenance video of the Hacko FR301. So just uh, kick back and enjoy. I'm going to show you what I do to maintain my FR301 desoldering tool. A lot of people get frustrated at these things uh, because uh, they will quickly lose performance depending on how they're maintained. And when I say quickly lose performance, it, it's relatively a quick process. You'll you'll get uh, you'll get quite frustrated pretty quick when this thing starts to get what I call plugged up. Um, it really it just comes down to maintenance just like any other uh, tool or piece of equipment that you use to run a business it has to be uh, properly maintained in order to do its job i should say and these things do become a mess flux is uh flux is not the cleanest stuff in the world It's nasty, it's sticky, it gets everywhere. Uh, and you, if you do enough soldering in a day, it even gets all over your glasses if you wear glasses. Just the fumes uh, floating around in the air. And for all you guys that are going to start complaining about not seeing a fume extractor anywhere, well, I'm not sure if you hear it in the background. But uh, I have, I always have fans, uh, high volume of air flowing around. Only because the, uh, this is an older building that just needs a lot of airflow. Otherwise, uh, I don't know. Otherwise, I think the dust settles. Things get dusty pretty quick around here, so I like to keep the air flowing so the filter can keep the air filtered. But what I'm doing right now is I'm cleaning up the mating surface uh, to the uh, collection tube. If you start to find that your HACO is suffering in its ability to suck up solder, it's there's a few things that can go on with these. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Yes, it's unplugged. <laughs> so uh, over a lot of use or extended period of time, these FR301s, the heater itself will actually degrade right in the middle here. And you can get a leak in here. I think they, they have some sort of cement that cements the uh, the heater in place that'll break down over time. And there's, uh, I do have a, oh, I had, I threw it away. Uh, this is a new heater because I ended up getting a leak in that heater. And you'll know because this tip will start to push in and it just, it destroys the inside of your element. Uh, but you can get these, they're kind of expensive. You can get them on Hacko. Uh, I think they're like 60 bucks or so for the heater itself. Uh, but that's where one leak will occur. The other leak is um, this mating surfaces of the reflection tube. Every now and then you're going to have to get on this front surface and scrape away all this nasty buildup that it gets. Isopropyl alcohol is your best friend. You just got to clean it up. All the solder balls and stuff. You know, it really makes me leery when I get solder balls into the uh, the hacko here because the circuit board and the handle 
I'm always worried that I'm going to short something out. So I try to get rid of all the excess solder that's floating around. So it doesn't end up inside the uh, gun here. I don't even know if that's a... Is that a word I can use on ah, YouTube? It's a desoldering tool. Uh, let's just make sure that's clean in the uh, collection tube, wherever my collection tube went. There it is. It's the same deal. Uh, every time I use it, I just take my finger and I wipe the top off if it's not super hot. And then these things will actually start to break down too and they crack. So you'll lose, uh, you'll lose your vacuum there. And then this surface here around the filter. What I do is I push the push on the filter to push it back in place and I wipe it down. It just keeps that rubber clean for a good uh, mating surface. If this starts to bulge out and deform over time, of course, you can always you can always purchase new uh, ends, collection tube ends, new filters, and all this from Hacko. Um, I do highly recommend getting uh, your stuff from Hacko. I would avoid places, you know, sometimes I'll throw in some off of Amazon, but the filter material just isn't as good. Of course, it's a Chinese knockoff. Um, but yeah, so that's the collection part of it. And then what I do is I move on to the vacuum part. Because there's a diaphragm in here. And I think I've even made a video uh, on this servicing of this before. Uh, but like any video in this world, it gets buried over time. I don't run playlists. I should, but I don't. When you're a business owner, you really have to manage your time. For everything else but uh, as you can see how it's nice it's real shiny right here it's not shiny because it's nice clean plastic it's shiny because that's all flux nasty sticky flux and the uh, the valve that's inside that starts to stick so keeping the valve clean is another one of those essential things to do uh, with the uh, 301. So I clean up the flux inside. Take the top off to get to the uh, valve. And you can see it's covered in flux i mean it's it's dripping in flux so you know that's a, a good indication that it probably needs to be cleaned so just uh it's just one of those things where you just grab your isopropyl alcohol and just do your best to clean it up and i guarantee you that once you're done doing this your 301 will come right back to life for you. You do this enough, it doesn't take long to do this quickly. This is the valve. Over time, that valve will actually get deformed and it'll get stuck in an open position. And then you have to use or wait just a little bit for the heat to soften that plastic back up. But what I do is I grab myself a paper towel, some isopropyl alcohol on the paper towel, and I just gently clean the valve.
of any flux buildup. And there's that valve for you. Getting a little bit of yellowing going on there. But not too bad. And yes, you can get these valves, of course, from Hacko. Again, I highly recommend getting your products from Hacko. I don't have any links, but if you just go to Hacko's website, um, you, and if you search FR301, you're going to get all the parts that come up for the 301. But the key is just really just keeping it clean. Um, I do this. I do this about twice a month as I solder thousands of transistors yearly. Just make sure that this goes back to the other right way. There's a little tab right here there's a little hole right here and this will only go back on one way well you can force it the other way but you probably break it I like to make sure everything's flat and level which it's not as long as that valve is in place this thing will go right back together there it is, just like that. And then you just put it back together. And this thing will be ready to roll for another couple hundred transistors. All right, so I just put this thing back together now. Make sure the diaphragm doesn't look like it has any holes in it. Just while it's open, let me clean up the diaphragm real quick here. I just want to make sure I don't have any tears or holes in it. This is a new diaphragm. As I had to replace the old one because it had a hole in it. So after you clean this all up and then you find that it still is not performing the way it should, check the diaphragm for any holes. Usually you can see the hole in the diaphragm because you'll find a little spot where flux has made a nice little shiny spot on it. But that's still looking pretty good. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we just screw this thing back together. Oh, sorry about that, guys. Does that make a ton of noise here? And for all you headphone users. But really anyone that's been, uh, like, I was an electrician for 25 years. Uh, anyone that was an electrician gets in the habit of using the shaft of a screwdriver to quickly spin your screws. Um, but I digress. So that is it. So then we just put the tube back in place. Um, sometimes I'll pull the tube all the way off and use the cleaning pin to get out any solid flux out of the tube but this is a good visual it's clear so you can see and it's not it doesn't have any buildup of flux flux usually just ends up building up uh, on top of the valve there then i'm going to remove the old flux from yesterday's Last amplifier, and then 
push this all back together. Just like that. Hacko FR301 is cleaned up. And ready to go. That's it, guys. That's a Hacko FR301 cleaning for you, which took a whole whopping 15 minutes for me to complete. So 15 minutes of work will save you a ton of headaches later. I guarantee, promise you that. Um, I have the 301 here. I have the 808 off to the side. I learned several years ago uh, how to maintain these things because that Hacko, that 808, it, it may be a beast, but you learn fast that what you have to do to maintain those uh, desoldering tools to uh, keep the performance the way it should. I learned real fast what you should and shouldn't do with a desoldering gun. So... That's today's cleaning of the uh, Hacko FR301. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I just wanted to show you guys uh, what it takes for kind of what I do um, on a normal routine uh, when it comes to tools and equipment. Um, as you can see here from this camera, you can see the tools and equipment that I deal with all the way off to the side, kind of up to the corner. I've got more equipment than you can shake a stick at, uh, but you have to have it you know, to do what I do for a living. So I think you guys watching, got any questions, leave them down below. I think I do have this link uh, down below in the description. If you are interested in the 301, I do believe it's an Amazon affiliate link. Uh, again, I just uh, letting you guys know, I do have links down below for the tools and equipment that I use uh, that I buy off Amazon. Uh, and I am an Amazon affiliate member, so that does uh, support me and I highly appreciate you guys that uh, comment and come onto my channel i'll be going live soon hopefully uh, i have a huge issue with this computer when it comes to uh, live streaming and the chat so i'm still working on that problem i know i saw that my last video was in april so i'm several 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 months out from my last live stream so i'll do my best to get on live for you guys so in the meantime thanks for watching i'll catch you soon